Oh. Hey, it's gonna jump! You say, man, where you think you're going? My friend here's a trainer, and I'm a cut man. Cut man. Look, I've been trying to figure out how to solve this, but it's not up to me. It's not up to any angel. Well, if an angel can't handle it, who can? I think this is a job for the mask rider. Shaking. Oh, no, look, uh, I, I just want to go home. Where'd you get in that drugstore, Pops? A little second off? Hmm? Huh? Let's see. Oh, please, not, not my medicine. We all got to get well, old man. I said, let's see it. Shoot. That ain't dope. Have your money, old man. I ain't got all day. Oh, shoot, Penny. I should have got you when you come out the bank. Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> to the right place? Sure, why? This doesn't look to me like a neighborhood for an angel. Look at those guys. They don't exactly look like mouseketeers. Come on, what are you worried about? I'm not worried. Well, of course you're not worried. You're already an angel. I thought I'd put it off for a little while. How do you know you're gonna be one? Hey, man, where do you think you're going? Yeah, but just in there. My friend looked for some work. Yeah? What kind of work? 
My friend here's a trainer. I'm, I'm a cut man. Cut man, huh? I'm a cut man, too. Dig it. They don't make them like they used to. You have a nice day. It's easy to be cool when you've already died once. You fought middleweight in the, in the 40s. Well, I see your friend here is a student of the lesser-known pugilist of the 20th century. Lesser known, my eye, you're one of the best contender for the title. Yeah, well, the Chicago Bent Nose crowd picks that. What can I do for you, fella? My friend and I are looking for some work. We heard you might be able to use a trainer and another cut man. Well, I was thinking about it, but how'd you hear about it? That word gets around, you know? Yeah, well, which one of you is a cut man? Oh, yeah. Give me some names, folks I can call. Who'd you work for last? Well, uh, I've been working mainly out of Vegas. For who? Hey, hold! Get over here, Freddy. Told you two guys to take it easy in there, man. Now, look at this gash you up in front of Freddy's eye. Oh, man, he's got a fight on the week. Why don't you let me take a look? Seeing's better than reading references. Okay. There we go, Fred. Uh, how's that? How'd you do that? Just a knack. Well, that's a heck of a knack. Yeah, enough to get me a job? Sure. Don't pay much. But you got the job, all right. All right. You can start tomorrow. Come on. I want you to meet my grandson. He'll show you around. Hey! Joy, I want you to meet two new guys who'll we'll be working here. How you doing? I'm John. Uh, Mark. Good to see you. Joey's fighting in the state championship. If he keeps listening to his granddad and training hard, he can go all the way to the national. Just got to keep putting out that sweat. And what does this look like? <laughs> yeah, well, I want you to show them around the place, OK? Hey, sure, granddad. Your locker room's over this way. All right. Hey, thank you very much for the job. Hey, bro. What's happening? Ain't nothing much, Stumpy. You want to get your hand off me, man? Sure, chump. Because I'll be putting my hands all on you when we get in that ring next week. And I'll be thump, thump, thumping up the side of your head. Hey, let me tell you something, man. You're going to find out that the ring is a lot different than some back alley. Who's your friend? Thumper, I grew up with him. He and his gang run the neighborhood. Doesn't seem to bother you any. <laughs> like I said, things are different in the ring. Here's a couple of lockers you can use, but you better get a good lock on them, else you'll be going home in your shorts. <laughs> Thanks. How soon are you gonna turn pro? I'm not going to. Heard too much about that from my grandpa. See, when you're good, everybody wants a piece of you. But when you're history, they throw what's left away. So what are you gonna do? Work with kids. Teach them to box, to have pride. Maybe they won't end up on the street corners with Satan's helpers. <laughs> Come on, let me show you the rest of the place. Well, at least nobody stole my car. Who'd want to? Cute, cute. Why don't we take a look around the neighborhood? Maybe we can find an apartment close by the gym. Cute. Tell you what, this neighborhood could use more kids like Joey. Yeah, he's a fine boy, all right. Well, I hope we're on this assignment long enough to see him fight. I got a feeling he's gonna put that fucker's lights out there. Bah! Yeah, there he is. Oh. Hey, he's gonna jump!
Hey there, partner. How you doing? Get away from me. I'm gonna jump. And if you try to stop me, I'll take you with me. Whatever's bothering you, it isn't bad enough to kill yourself over. Bad enough. Let me tell you something, fella. Old is bad. I used to be somebody. Now I'm nothing. Broke, forgotten. Can't walk the streets without those punks mugging me. Now my eyes are going. A couple of months, I'll, I'll probably be blind. I don't have the money for an operation. And you say things can't be so bad. Well, now that you mention you do have a few problems, but nothing we can't talk out. I'm through with talking. I never thought the mass rider would take the coward's way out. How, how do you know who I am? Your voice. I heard it enough times at Saturday matinees. You're Morton Clay. You, you remember me? Sure I do. Well, you're the only one who does. Besides a couple old cronies who are as broken down as I am. It is him. It is you. You know I became a cop because of you? You stood for truth and justice in the American way. I, I think that was Superman. Well, it's probably a bad time to ask, but uh, can I have your autograph? just break something anyway. <laughs> well, this is home. Uh, I guess I should uh, thank you two fellas. This is where you live? Uh-huh. Back when I was working, the horses made more money than the actors. You live alone? Oh, no, no. I got a roommate. He's a widower, an old friend. Come on up and meet him. I want you to go ahead. I've got something I got to take care of at the gym. I'm going to go with you? No, no, I'll be fine. See if you can get a room here. I'll meet you back here in a little while. Uh, it's not much, but come on. Do me a favor. Don't mention anything about what happened up there. My faithful old Indian friend fusses enough about me. You're kidding. You're, you're rooming with Red Feather? Yeah. But that's not his real name. It's Sidney. No. Sidney? Yeah, Sidney Eagle. Joey? Hey, we're close, Thumper. You're talking pretty big today, boy. Guess we'll find out come fight time, huh? No, you're gonna find out right now, fool. See, come fight night, I'm gonna thump on you long and hard, and you're gonna let me do it. I'm gonna what? You heard me. Because if you don't, that old granddad of yours is gonna be dead meat. I ain't jiving you, boy. You gonna lose? Oh, he gonna lose. You think on it. what he said. I either throw the fight or else. Oh, come on, maybe he's just trying to scare you. Yeah, you don't know Satan's helpers. They don't care about nothing. What about the police? <laughs> you kidding? What are they going to do? Even if they could bust them, they'd be right back out on the streets. They do my granddad even worse then. Look, Joy, I'm here to help you if you, if you want it. 
You want to help me? Just don't say anything to my granddad, to anybody. We're closed now. OK, sure. You're kidding. His real name is Murray? Yeah. Murray Klein. Well, of course, we changed it before we did the first serial. Studio gave us our names. Well, I mean, how far do you think we'd have gotten of his masked Murray and his faithful Indian friend, Sidney? <laughs> I hear you. Hey, Sid. Give me a hand with this trunk. You can carry it up here yourself. That was 20 years ago. It's 20 years. <laughs> I'll get the door. Okay, coming. Everything all right? I'll tell you about it later. You're not going to believe this. Morton's roommate is Red Feather. Yeah, well, you know his real name? Sidney. Sometimes you're not a lot of fun to be with. Well, here it is. Oh, hi, Jonathan. This is my friend Sidney. How you doing? Hi. What's in the truck? <clears throat> oh, nothing. Ghosts, that's all. Ah, uh, stuff from the show. I talked him into showing him to me. Are you kidding? He's dying to show it to you. Hey, Sidney, bad choice of words at our age. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Could you try that on? Oh, he no. never fit in it. Too much pasta, too many eclairs in the old Lavanza to ever get in that thing again. <laughs> well, we were something once, though, weren't we? Now we all live around here. Concentrating mostly on staying regular. You say you, you all live around here, like who? Oh, Buck Corrigan, Deadwood Dick, and Lash Latham, Roland Ronaldo. I mean, I mean, all the great old timers, they all live around here? <laughs> yeah. We were around before residuals. Boy, I'd sure like to meet them. Oh, well, that's easy enough. We all get together at the cafeteria, talk about the good old days. Would you like to join us? I wouldn't miss half of the world. What a great <laughs> shot. There, see? That's me and my golden palomino. Oh, Mark, <laughs> Mark. Hey, that's Lash. <laughs> and Roland, there's a picture of you, Roland. <laughs> Ripped a lot of shirts in the old days. <laughs> yeah, better days, better days. Sidney, um, can I ask you to do me a favor? Sure, kid, what? Well, could you? Nah, I feel dumb asking. Well, don't be coy, kid. It's not often everyone remembers us like you do. Well, can you, you know, say fresh tracks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like like this? No. Uh, fresh track. Look like maybe three, four hour old. I love it! I love it! <laughs> You got to eat, Pops. Sandwiches? I can see that. What kind? Turkey, ham, salami. Turkey. Crime pays in the rear. Ham. Crime pays in the rear. All three. And crime doesn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, on earth are you doing awake? Just been asleep, Grandpa. Oh, thinking of 
about to fight, huh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, the only time a fighter should worry is if he's coming into the ring and he's not in shape. Now, what kind of shape do you think you're in? Good. Good? Son, you're in great shape. Even if you don't knock him out, that thump will be sucking air out of the rafters by the third round. You see the way he trains? Yeah, I've seen. Been around a long time, son. I've seen a lot of young fighters come up. And you're the best. Grandpa. Look, just hold on. I'm not saying that because I'm your grandfather. Now, we've always been honest with each other, haven't we? Haven't we? Yes, sir. All right, then. You're going to go into that ring Friday and turn this neighborhood around. There are going to be a bunch of kids there watching the fight. They're going to find out that you don't have to be a Satan's helper to be somebody. Just be a good person and work hard. That's what makes you somebody. Grandpa? Yes, sir. I love you, you know? I love you, too. See you in the morning. Joey, I'm going down to see Mr. Grogan at the bank. Run a few errands. Be back in a few hours. You okay, Grandpa? Are you all right? Fine. Are you sure? Fine. Sure. Okay. I'll see you in a little while. There you go. Thanks, Joey. What do you want me to do first? Hey, I don't care what you do. Go steal some hubcaps. Do something useful. Just leave me alone. Hey, Joey. I I'm sorry if I did anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. It's all right. Why is he mad at me? Ah, he's not mad at you. He's got a lot of things on his mind, you know, the big fight coming up and all. Right after the fight, he'll be right back to his old self again. He's not scared of Thumper, is he? Heck no. Well, all of us kids are counting on them. We don't want to be scared anymore, either. Yeah, I know. Why don't you do some work on the speed bag, huh? OK. Thanks, Mark. Tell your grandfather? Tell him what? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Jonathan told you? Yeah. Well, who else has he told? Nobody. Then keep it that way. Joey, you can't do this. It means too much. Not just to you, but to those kids out there. Hey, who you think you're talking to? You don't know nothing about down here. Are you coming here with your chest all puffed out about changing things, then you find out what it's like, and you just move on. But I live here. My granddad, he lives here. One man can't change anything. Well, I'm going to find out about that. Mark. And where have you been? Smart around the neighborhood. One, two, and three. Seen your friend? No, in here. 
Yeah, he was. You told him, didn't you? Yes, Joey, I told him. Yeah, well, if he's as dumb as he was acting, he's probably gotten himself in a big trouble about now. What are you talking about? My guess is that he's went down to take on Satan's helpers, single-handed. I wouldn't follow him, or you're gonna need a cut man. I heal quick. Say what? You heard me the first time. You're gonna lay off Joey's grandfather. <laughs> oh, what? You gonna turn us in? That's right. <laughs> For what? We ain't done nothing. You're wasting your time, friend. Now, why don't you get out of here before I hurt you? Why don't you just try that? You know something? <laughs> you just might be the dumbest white man I ever met. Art! And who are you? He's with me. Well, if I was you, I'd get your friend out of here while I feel generous. Come on, Mark. Let's let's go. What do you mean, let's go? Just what I said. Let's go. You're not gonna run from this punk, Mark. The boss won't like it. I know. Shut up. The both of you. Now, what are you talking about, the boss? Who's your boss? You wouldn't know him. Well, let me tell you something. Ain't nobody moving in on this neighborhood. You hear me? Nobody. You better watch your mouth with him. Say what? Mark, he, he said we could go. Why don't we, why don't we go? Now, Jonathan, enough is enough. Now, come on, stick it to him. Take hold of him. Now, I'm going to thump a little on your friend here. And you take him back to your boss, and you show him what happens to dudes who try to move in on the Satan's helpers. <laughs> You're gonna be sorry. Who was I to know you wouldn't be able to zap him? I mean, you're an angel. I thought you were gonna stick him all to the ceiling. If he'd have wanted that, he would have sent Joe Lewis down here on the assignment. I tried to tell you that. Yeah, but I thought that was because you were against violence. How come you didn't have the stuff? Because when I do something he doesn't want me to do, he doesn't give me the stuff. Eh, uh, my fault, I guess. You don't have to guess. I'll get it. Joey. Yeah, I just want to thank you for butting in. Thumper just called me over to Jim, said he didn't like me talking to your boss, whoever that is. So to make sure he didn't try anything else, they grabbed my granddad. They what? That's right. They're going to hold him till after the fight. I take a dive in the third, and you stay out of it from now on. What do we do now? That's a very good question. Just wish I had an answer for it. All right. All right, now let's just think this thing out. Now, obviously, he doesn't want you to put the fear of him into them or he would have let you. Right. You can't go to the police because they got Joey's grandpa. Right. So. Maybe this is just one of those assignments that doesn't work out, you know? You said it yourself, you know, you're new with this. Maybe you don't have enough experience angeling to figure it out. That's it. Okay, I knew it. No, no, that's not what I mean. Look, I've been trying to figure out how to solve this, but it's not up to me. It's not up to any angel. Well, if an angel can't handle it, who can? I think this is a job for the masked rider. Look, young fella, I know you mean well, but we're too old, washed up. We had our day in the sun. Come on, Morton, you and your friends were heroes once. That was in the movies. No, not just in the movies. And from what I heard, you did your best to set an example for the kids that looked up to you. Well, there's a bunch of kids in this neighborhood who don't have any heroes except Thumper and his gang. I'd like to help you, kid, but you're asking something that just is impossible. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Take a look at us. I am taking a look at you. You know what I see? I see a bunch of heroes that gave up. That's not fair. That's right, it's not fair. It's not fair to the kids in this neighborhood. They got a gang. Because they've got a leader. Don't you see, you men could be leaders. Don't you think the people in this neighborhood are fed up with living in fear? They'd follow anybody who had enough guts to stand up to the Satan's helpers. 
Look, it's happened in other neighborhoods. They got watchdog groups, the, the guardian angels. Great Panthers. Morton, you men could make a difference. It's crazy. Any crazier than thinking about jumping off a building. All right, I'm for it. Who's with me? Yeah. All right, Sydney, break out the suits. We're gonna ride! Phil, man, it's time to make that call. Don't want little Joey worrying about his grandpa. You pitiful, you know that. Cut the jive, Pops, and make the call. Tell me, how does it feel not to be man enough to take on my grandson? To have to kidnap some old man to make a kid throw a fight? Dig it, my man. Feels a whole lot better than what you're gonna feel if you don't make that call and make it now. And I mean now. Besides, from what I hear, throwing fights is old stuff to you. All I'm doing is keeping alive an old family tradition. <laughs> Hello? Joy? Grandpa? You OK? Yes, I'm fine. They haven't hurt you or anything, have they? I'm fine, kid. Joy, listen. I know what this is like. I had a shot for the title once, and some punk stepped in on me. What I'm saying is, I've lived with what I could have been and never had a chance to be all my life. Don't let this happen to you, son. You go in there and you win, you hear? Grandpa! Grandpa! This is Thumper, Joey. You leave my grandfather alone, you hear me? Well, now, that all depends on you now, doesn't it, Joey? You got to figure out what voice you want to listen to. Some senile old man who's willing to get his legs broke so you can have a shot at me. Or old Thumper, who wants to see you and your granddad reunited in one piece. You listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Good. That's very good. Now you stay on your feet and take your licks. An old boomer will still be able to walk the next time you see him. See you in the ring, champ. Satan's his helpers kidnapped Boomer Brooks. We're going to his rescue. You gotta be out of your mind. Follow us and see. I ain't gonna miss this. Me neither. <laughs> I gotta go. That's right, they got Boomer Bros. The two crazy white guys said they're gonna bust him out. Hey, let's see this one go down. Yeah, come on, you guys, let's go. All right.
Hey, who in the hell is that? Nah, it ain't no cop. Well, take a look. Hey, y'all gotta come and see this. Who is it? Just, just come look for yourself. Bring the old man. Yes. Days of terrorizing this neighborhood are over. Now I hand over Joey's grandfather. Now look, old man, I ain't got no time to be playing no games. Now just get out of here. Now that goes for all of us. This is no game. You better hand over the boy's grandfather. You want him? Get past this. That is the way you want it, senor. Santa Maria. I did not know you could still do it. Neither did I. Okay. Okay. You old men want to play? We'll play. Now come on and get some of this. Come on! Come on and get some of this! Come on! We gonna just stand here? Or we gonna do something? This is our chance! That's right. They can't stop all of us. It's time to take back this neighborhood. Just like the mass man. Yeah. Then what are we waiting for? Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout is for the State Amateur Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, in this corner, wearing the black trunks with a white stripe, weighing 175 pounds, a local neighborhood favorite, Joey Boomer Brown. And in this corner, weighing 171 pounds, also a local favorite, wearing the black trunks with the red stripe, Thumper Livingstone. We'll never make it on time. Yeah, we're gonna make it. The mass rider always arrived in the nick of time. I sure hope so. Ow. All right, 
don't know. Me either. Leave me alone, Wally. Two young fellas, anyway. Well, they're, they're gone. Yes. <laughs> Call himself Jonathan. You know, I have a feeling if we ever need him again, he'll be back. Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah, I think that's true. Wish you knew his name. I, I mean, his real name. I uh, just wanted to thank. Him. 